What's up guys, back again. So today let's talk about Promising Young Women, which is a movie that I've wanted to see ever since I saw the trailer. And if you guys don't know what the trailer is, the trailer to me was a really, really one of my favorite trailers of last year. Like trailers can sell a movie whether it's good or not or whether you like it or not like it. But that mo that trailer for Promising Young Woman is, is genuinely one of the coolest trailers I've seen in a while. Like it's style, it's color. Um, I really, really dug the hell out of the trailer. And it was a very, very just interesting trailer. It was really, really, really fun. And so I was really excited for this movie. And I know this movie is pushed back. I think it was in April it was supposed to be released. Now it was released on Christmas Day um, in some theaters that are open. And I finally got to see it yesterday. So this one is really awesome because looking at this movie, it's a... I, I don't want to, I know exactly what kind of a movie it is, but I don't want to spoil it because the trailer is sort of misleading. Because the trailer is, shows this girl named Cassie who Carrie Mulligan plays. And this girl goes to bars, acts like she's drunk, takes, goes home with guys, and then something happens. And then that's all it shows in the trailer. But it seems like there's something deceiving and deceitful uh, along the way with her doing this every week. And... I thought, again, the trailer just had a great buildup of anticipation. Like, what is going on in this movie? What is this character doing? Um, and you can kind of get the basis of it from the trailer. But the trailer barely says anything about this movie. I love that it's just a style over substance trailer, which really is a good thing for movie trailers. Because movie trailers nowadays can ruin a movie or show the whole movie. And this one show a lot of the movie but not in a way where it made any logical sense to you like what's going on and it even did like a hereditary trailer where like it didn't really fully tell you everything but it seemed like you knew everything um good trailer editors can do that where they make a movie you don't know what the movie's about but you think it is you think you know what it's about and this trailer and the hereditary trailer are great examples of movies that really you watch the movie and it's not like the trailer and you think that it's the the trailer is what the movie is because most movie most movie trailers nowadays spoil the hell out of every movie so i really dug the trailer and god watching this movie like i'm so glad i saw this one this one is fantastic this this really genuinely got me in every way so this movie god it is so incredibly well made um first off carrie mulligan really really fantastic and she blew me away with every everything that she did in the movie her character her acting she was awesome and i like the fact that you get a thriller i guess thriller is the thing i'm gonna call it it's a thriller comedy thriller i guess um in a way like it's a very dark comedy but it's a very it's a very dark movie it is dark and morbid for it and it, and it doesn't it looks like it is from the trailer, but believe me, you're just strap in. You have not seen anything really. Like this movie is dark and it's really, really well done. Looking at the story without spoiling it, like this plot is so incredibly well done. And like I said, Carrie Mulligan is great. Um, I'm gonna say the actors in this. I'm not only really gonna say the purpose in the movie, but um, you got a big cast in here. Like I'm surprised at the cast in this movie. But you have Carrie Mulligan. Um, you have Bo Burnham, who's really, really good in the movie. He he was so hilarious, and I like that Bo Burnham... I've only seen some of his stand-up. I haven't seen everything he's done, but his stand-up is really hilarious. But I like how this movie, it's a little more than just that. But he is genuinely funny in the movie, and he's really good in the movie. The acting is all top-notch. Um, but I really like seeing seeing him in the movie. I really like seeing Alison Brie. I love Alison Brie. Awesome to see her in this. Um, she's great, as usual. She plays the really mean, mean girl character, like kind of the sport. Well, I don't know about mean character. She plays the character that you see in Allison Brie characters. Like she plays kind of the bitchy character on purpose. And I like that. I like that she has kind of a niche in her acting, like being that kind of character. And she's a really great actress as well. And it just, it's awesome to see her do the similar thing in this movie. But it's not like every other role she's done. But she has kind of a niche with her performances it feels like because it's like scream 4 where like she's this kind of bitchy like character and there are other ones that i'm just can't think of around the moment but other examples that are like that with her with her roles that she's done and i like that a lot i think she's great in the movie um and then 
you have a lot of littler people like you've got Adam or Adam Brody. Adam Brody's in it as well. Um, you've got the guy on New Girl. I forget what his name is. I've never seen New Girl, but it's the guy New Girl. My name is Doris. Uh, Max Greenfield, I think. Um, and then you've got um, you got Clancy Brown as well uh, as the dad. And then you've got uh, from American Pie the the Stifler's mom. Um, Jennifer Coolidge, you got her as well, and all of, and also you got Connie Britton as well. Like you've got a good, good amount of people in this movie that are really great, and this movie really is fantastic. And it's from a, it's from a director, and she has not. I think this is her first movie, and and by God, if you keep going with this, like I love whenever you get directors on their first jobs and they make a standout movie. I think it is her first movie. I think I don't think I saw anything else. Um, Unless it was, there might have been something else on Letterboxd that she had did, but I can't remember if it's a movie or if it's like a short. But I don't know the name of this director, but she is someone to look out for. Like, really, really freaking good directing here. Good directing, good acting. Um, it's also a movie that I feel like I haven't seen before, in a way. Like I said, I'm not going to spoil it, because the movie does does have a lot of subgenres to it. Like I said, it's a thriller but it's also funny, but it's also other things that I can't say because I don't want to ruin the fun of this movie. This movie is, again, so incredibly fun as well. And without spoiling it, the ending of this movie, like, you look at it and you're like, did, they re did that really just happen? Like, I love the fact that this movie pulls no punches. It's a, like, and it's very, it's very hard to say, because it's, I'm being very extremely vague for you, the viewer, talk, listening to this video, like, what, what is he even talking about? Like, you, it's hard to explain a movie like this, because I don't want to ruin anything about it. I want you to see this, like, just without knowing anything. It's freaking fantastic. It is genuinely one of my favorite movies of last year. If I had, a uh, if I had watched it before I did my 2020 ranking like of all the movies i saw i think it was 43 this would have been number one or number two um it probably would have been number one but genuine like five like letterbox i give it five out of five stars like it it blew me away with everything and it's such a fun distinct movie like with style as well it's very stylistic where it's so memorable with how they cut the trailer with how they made carrie Mull carrie mulligan's character with how they have all the great acting, um, great writing, great directing, and I like how the movie has so many genres in it, but it doesn't ever feel like it's a forced other genre, if that makes sense. Like, this movie is dark and bleak, and whenever it turns into other genres, it really works to the benefit of the viewer, where you think, this is how it's going to go, and then it might just turn you on your head. And it genuinely is just such a well-made movie. I love the hell out of this one. Promising Young Woman is one to definitely go see and definitely go look out for. Um, top, like, favorite movie of 2020 now. Uh, like I said, if I had the, had seen it before the ranking video, I would have put it at number one. But this was incredible. Go out and see Promising Young Woman. It's definitely one I strongly recommend. So... That's it for this, pretty much all I can say without spoiling it. And I want to spoil it, but I don't want you guys to not to know the truth about it. I want you guys to know what, like, going in clean, not knowing anything about this. So uh, that's all I can say. So I'll see you guys in the next video.